Hi guys and welcome to a new video. This is a video of my new batteries I've just purchased for my uh, digital camera. So they're double A's, four of them. Duracell Rechargeable Ultra. Lasts up to five years. Guaranteed it says there. If you can see that. Let's get it in focus. And then there's a little asterisk and what the asterisk means is or 400 charges whichever comes first. If you can see that. Let's go ahead and show you the stay charged the pre-charged and the 2500 milliamp hour so I'll link in the description below to all that information on their website this is the back of the pack nickel metal hydride 2500 1.2 volts the QR code there and then the information just at the top is the English bit if you wanna pause the video and read it just there I don't know if you can see that so that's the English bit there and then all the other languages and then the other interesting thing at the bottom there is uh, Duracell made in Japan for Duracell batteries BVBA so they're Japanese made let's just go ahead and uh, let's pull its focus down to the table still struggling there we go so Duracell Ultra Rechargeable Batteries. I use these batteries for my digital camera that needs the highest capacity in a nickel metal hydride battery. These are 2500 milliamp hour with a 1.2 volt uh, voltage and they're double A size. So I choose Duracell as the brand that pushes the envelope in design with standard double A batteries. So the standard batteries are alkaline, the throwaway style. The sizes available are AAA, AA, C, D, 9 volt as well as uh, quadruple A as well. So the double A's in normal alkaline batteries the plus power is 1947 milliamp hours and the ultra power is 2288 milliamp hours. So back to these batteries. They are designed for high power and high drain devices like cameras etc. So the ultra brand is marketed as longer lasting so these are ultra brand as you can see there recharge ultra let's just stick them the other way because of the reflections so I had noticed that these nickel metal hydride are 1.2 volts though and the normal throwaway cells are 1.5 volts so the big problem problem for me is the throwaway batteries don't have enough capacity to even turn on a digital camera so I had a camera that took two batteries and they were normal double A's and it just said batteries depleted when they were brand new out of the packet so it wouldn't even it wouldn't even work with them so it was, they were pretty useless really so I moved to rechargeables and I wanted a quality brand like Uniros because that's the only experience I'd had but I thought that a company like Duracell should just be as good so I was surprised that they'd even moved into rechargeable batteries but I have got about four years out of a set of older ones which were 2,400 and 50 milliamp hours which are here see if it will focus in so I've used these now for about four years and I always charge these at 500 milliamp hours so what's written on there is the actual capacity they are now after four years of use so they started as 2450 I don't really know that because I've not I never checked them because I had no way of checking them so 2301 2303 2354 2406 so as you can see there these are the older versions with 2450 milliamp hours so I never emptied and refilled them I just I just filled them up from where the uh, camera shut off so I didn't cycle them properly and I still got <clears throat> quite a long lifetime out of them let's just stick them there see if it'll focus so uh, I just didn't have the time uh, as my camera needs the top 10% of these batteries capacities so they are still 90% charged when the camera tells me to change the batteries. The old ones did get quite hot, now being charged at 500 milliamp hours. So I have, I've dropped the charging to 250 milliamp hours and they don't get anywhere near as hot. The downside is they take twice as long to charge, but they're still usable. Another thing with these old ones though is if they get hot, they do start to vent and these have started to vent because they get quite hot on 500 milliamp hours. So my new sets I only charge at 250 milliamps to try to get more life out of them. 
So there are other brands with maybe slightly more milliamp hours like Uniros and Eniloop, but I've had no experience of them, so I can't give you any advice. But if they give you the milliamp power that is stated on the back, I don't know if they do or not, so you can say whatever, but what if you test them and find that you get 500 milliamp hours, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's just see if I can move them. So that's up to you if you want to try another brand, but I'm more, you know, I've used these for four years and I'm more than happy with the with the price and how long they lasted. So, uh, so I've only tested the capacity of my worn out ones because the main charger couldn't test capacity. So I've only just recently got a, a charger that will test capacity. And like I said, those are the those are what they actually had in after four years of use. So two, three, oh one. 2303, 2354 and 2406. So they're always used as a set in my camera. So my Lito Carla charger can test capacity so I'll test the new ones, the 2500 milliamp hour ones, to see what the start capacity is before I use them. I'll put it in the description below what it says. So that's the capacity of the old cells. So let's go ahead and put them out of the way for the minute and let's go ahead and show you the charger. So this old one is the one I've been using the most and that has charged the, the old ones for four years. So this one's called a Technoline BL700 which is nine years old now and it only charges nickel metal hydride and NICAD. Let's go ahead and show you the back. The power is three volts and those are the batteries it takes, AA and AAA, so not a great not a great uh, selection there, NICAD and Nickel Metal Hydride. So that's that one. Let's show you the date I got it. So I've had nine years of of uh, uninterrupted use. It's not broken or anything. So the 7th of the 8th, 2008, I bought it from a company called Battery Logic. And I think I paid about £35. So that's, that's the one I still use. But this is my backup charger which will also charge 18650s. I've done a review on, on YouTube of this already. So this one takes four batteries again, and this one will cycle your battery, so it will drain it and refill it and tell you the capacity. And that's what I did with the other set. So it's similar to the other one, but quite a lot bigger, because these take 18650 batteries. Let's go ahead and show you the difference in size. If I level them there at the bottom, and bring them down together, you know, they're quite a lot bigger because they take a 18650 battery, which is massive. So this is this one cost me £20, the Lito Carla, and it takes lithium ion cells and nickel metal hydride. And I think it also takes NICAD as well. Yeah, nickel metal hydride, NICAD, AA, AAA, A, SC sizes, and all the 3.7 lithium ion batteries. So like I said, I've done a review of this charger already on on YouTube. There we go, it's gone in focus. So I'm really impressed by the quality of this one. So that's that done. So let's go ahead and weigh the old cells to show you what what sort of weight we're talking about on these so you can tell the difference between a good cell and a bad cell. So 28 grams for one AA cell. Let's go ahead and put it in ounces so it's one ounce so that gives you a rough idea and they're all 28 grams so they're all consistently equal and that was 29 so it's the amount of, of um, the stuff they put inside that makes the weight right so the price of these uh, special 2500 milliamp hour let's just switch that off move it out of the way. So the price of these special 2500 milliamp hour batteries start at around about £7.50 for four. But on eBay the cheaper ones are from Europe or bulk packed in clear plastic. I would stay away from these as they could be old stock. So the guy I buy from has sold thousands. So I only buy from a seller who sold thousands and one showed and one showed in the pack. This is why I use Go Green UK. So Go ahead and show you the uh, the person I bought from. So as you can see, they're exactly as I got them, as I ordered. They're in the pack. So four Duracell AA 2500 milliamp hour rechargeable ultra batteries, nickel metal hydride HR6 MN1500 Duralock. 
So the seller is Go Green UK. And I've had no problems with him now. I've bought four sets, I think. So £8.19 and he sold 3,107. The trending price is £15.2, which is a, an average took of all the sold of all the ones that are sold, but I don't that's very expensive. I've never seen any for £15, so expect to pay around £8.19 is the good price on them. So like I said he sold 3,107 and I've not had any problems at all with him. So let's go ahead and move that out of the way. So beware there are batteries that come in different pack sizes and different capacities. So just be aware of that. that there is a 1300 milliamp, a 1700 milliamp one, which is old stock. There's also a 2450 milliamp one, is it, which is at least four to five years old stock, you know, which could be absolutely wrecked, which is what that one is. So that's 2450. I don't know the date they moved to the new 2500 milliamp, but if it's the same money, why not go for the best newest stock that may well have been made within the last six months? So, so don't waste your money on branded chargers, even though they say on the back here to use branded ones, the branded ones are never very good. They're just basic and don't fill the battery full. Uh, so the Duracell ones or the Uniros ones, which you can not generally pick up for a fiver, I'd rather you spend the money and get a, a better quality charger. So you may find that they're not full enough to switch your device on if you use a bog standard charger. So the Lito Carla Engineer is £20 on eBay from China. I have a review of it on YouTube. So uh, so these, yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. I really, uh, I don't see any point in moving to another brand when I'm happy with these. And they're made in Japan, you know, 99% of stuff now is made in China. Not very good quality, so the Japanese know how to make good stuff. And I'm happy to stay with them for uh, for £8.19 is a bargain for a set of four batteries considering how much it would cost to buy the throwaway Duracell ones. So that's it guys. So uh, sorry this video has been so long but uh, I like to give all the information out I've been I've found out over the years. So that's it guys. So thanks for watching and uh, check back soon. Cheers.